Hello and welcome to a new colouring book haul. This is going to be my last colouring book haul for a while because I've bought quite a lot of books lately and I'm just going to stop buying them for the time being. So I've got a few books to show you. I've got a few books that need opened and I've also got another couple of books on the way that haven't arrived yet but I wanted to get this unboxing recorded on the channel so I'll have to show you them at a later date. Okay, so I'll start with these ones first. And first of all, I've got this really cute little Vincent van Gogh postcard colouring book. And it's got 20 watercolour cards. So it's obviously watercolour paper. And it's the famous Vincent van Gogh paintings. And it's very, very light line work. It's obviously very small, so if you don't like painting tiny, tiny details, it probably won't be for you. But I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's probably really hard to see on camera. But that's that one. Then I've got this gorgeous The Snow Queen a Frozen Fantasy colouring book. Another absolutely beautiful book. I think this has been off for quite a while. I'm sure I've seen it quite a while back. And it's just got some absolutely beautiful, beautiful pictures in it. It's quite a large book as well. I won't do a full flip through, but I'll just show you some of the beautiful pictures. Okay, so that's that one. I also got the Flower Fairies Alphabet Colouring Book. So, some of the Flower Fairy pictures are letters of the alphabet. So, each picture represents a letter. And this is basically the colouring book version, which is absolutely amazing because if you want to do the watercolour paintings, this is the line work that you just need to copy onto your watercolour paper. Or you could just colour it in this in coloured pencil. But they're just obviously, as you probably already know, I adore the flower fairies. So they're just absolutely beautiful, beautiful pictures. So that's that one. I also got... The Enchanting Christmas Colouring Book. This is another kind of like vintage, old fashioned style colouring book. And I think it's the same artist as this book. At least I thought it was and now I'm not so sure. This is the Enchanting Fairies Colouring Book. And it's by Margaret Tarrant. And it does look like similar kind of artwork. And this is the Enchanting Christmas colouring book. Oh yeah, it is, yeah. It's by the same artist, Margaret Tarrant. Um, but these aren't fairies. These are just pin. Oh yeah, they are. But this, this is like a combination of kind of traditional paintings and there's little kind of fairy paintings as well I think oh yeah it's like a little elf there and there that's so cute um, they're quite dull because it looks like they're really old pictures but obviously when you do the colours yourself you can make it a lot brighter so that's that one. I think this was only available on Book Depository as well, but obviously I'll link it below and I'll link all the books below. So 
Okay, so that's that one. Then I also got the Pictura Christmas fold out colouring book. Um, this one's by Paul Cox. I have a lot of the other pictures that I still haven't coloured, but I just like to collect them. Um, and then I forgot all about the Christmas one. And then I seen that David bought it on the Modernist Colourist, so I thought, mm, I'll have to get it. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with the picture books, the the kind the fold out like this. It's like one of them fold out things. So you're supposed to, it's got like, it's perforated here. I suppose I'll have to rip it and then we can look at the back. Oh, that was quite easy. And then there's some activities to do on the back. Like it's teaching you how to use the grid method, you know, draw this scene onto here. And then this is the full scene on the other side of the card, which is like an a beautiful Christmas scene. It's absolutely gorgeous. It starts in somebody's house and here they're having their Christmas dinner and then there's the Christmas tree and then outside you can see what's going on, on in the street and then up to the hills and mountains it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and then there's a few colouring tips here as well so I'll just open it right out and show you the full scene it's really really big it's massive Gorgeous. So that's that one. Now I'll open the packages. And I've got another couple of Christmas ones. I've got the Nutcracker Designs by Creative Haven. Now I haven't seen this yet so I don't know what it's like but it looks really really nice and I've just been to see the Nutcracker and the Four Realms I think it's called at the cinema and I absolutely loved it. So that's that book. And then I've got the Nice Little Town Christmas 2. I don't have the Christmas one. I didn't realise there was a one and two. I thought this was just the Christmas version. So I should have probably got book one. But it doesn't really matter. There's lots of gorgeous little Christmas scenes in here. That's that one. So this is another one that I've seen on Dev's channel. Disney's Christopher Robin Deluxe Colour and Book. Um, this was really, really good value. I think it was only about £6 on Amazon UK. So I just had to get it. So it's obviously quite a lot of repetitive patterns and then lots of the Winnie the Pooh artwork so really really nice so that's that one and then the last one Why are your book deposits so difficult to open? I have to say, I'm not really impressed with these book depository bookmarks lately. 
They're just not very nice. That it just looks like a advertisement for something. It just looks like a piece of junk advert, kind of. Like compared to those colouring ones, they're just not very good. So this a bell bell jardin or belly belly jardin. Um, colour the garden of your dreams and it's just so pretty this book so it's all looks like it's all about food and stuff that you grow in your garden but it's just really really nice pictures Oh yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Oh yeah, that's lovely. And then it's got a little area in the back where you can swatch some of your pencils. Really nice. Okay, so that's my latest colour on big haul. Like I say, I probably won't do another one of these for quite a while. And you'll probably be pleased because lately all I've been doing is colour and big hauls. Uh, and I need to get some other type of videos made. So... Hopefully I should get back into making some tutorials pretty soon. So thanks again for watching and everything will be linked below if you want to purchase any of these.